Nerd. Nerd. Hello and welcome to another video on our YouTube channel, All, All Things Nerd. Nerd. And today we have not one, not two, not four, and not six, but all three of the new Lord of the Rings Breakers. Yay! So I'm really pleased. So we have Frodo and Gollum. Let's get into the review. So, here are the, are the three new Lord of the Rings Brickheads in all their glory. So we have the, obviously, a Gollum Frodo, Gandalf the Grey, the Balrog, and Ar Aragorn and Erwin. So, the, and the so, things look really cool, don't they? Yeah. So, if you don't know, these are part of the new theme of Lord of the Rings, which is a remake of the original 2011 to 2015 Lord of the Rings wave. So... I'm really excited that they've brought this back. They've also made another set, which is Rivendell, which is a massive set, and we hope to review it at some point on this channel, but it is crazy expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. And we don't have that sort of money right now, but if you like and subscribe, then yeah. we may get there eventually. So please, yeah, like and subscribe, and to support this channel and this video. So, obviously, we have the box. Uh, you can see the back, back of the box. Uh, we have the... The the what uh, the map of Lord of, of the entire Lord of the Rings franchise. So Middle Earth is what J the man him this is what the man himself drew, J R R Tolkien, who uh, wrote the Lord of the Rings, uh, the Hobbit, the Silmarillion, Tales of Everything. Yeah. So basically, it, he he created this entire thing just one man from a very long time ago. But it is absolutely amazing how it's carried on. I uh, it go does give the box a sort of a depth, especially with like the shadow of the characters. I think it does look really cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. So without further ado, let's get into the first speed build. which is the Frodo Baggins and Gollum Lord of the Rings Lego Brickhead set. It consists of 184 pieces and it looks absolutely amazing. Yes, personally, this is definitely my favourite of all three of the Brickheads. So without further ado, let's, let's start with Gollum. So here we have Gollum, which is the smallest of all six Brickheads. But I think he captures his likeness very, very well with his like base, basic like shapes and everything. So it does look very, very cool. Yeah, it is a pretty simple build, but I do like the fact it has printing on the all sides of its head, which I think adds a, a little yeah. bit more value to an otherwise pretty bland figure. Because I, I do love because it's like his hair. Because he had very like long thin strands of hair. Because obviously he used to be a hobbit, if you didn't know, and then he found the one ring. And we became like, ah, my preciouses, my preciouses, like that. And now he just eats fish and tries to kill people. Because I really like his little fish accessory there, which is very, very, very good detail. And so if we open it up to see what his brain is like. And here you can see inside of Gollum's very, very small head. And his brain is represented by a one by one stud. And I think it looks very, very cool because obviously he has, he has a very, very small brain. And moving on to Frodo Baggins, which is the main character in Lord of the Rings. Uh, he has a sword and he has the one ring, which is the entire of the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. It's very, very, very cool. I love how shiny it is as well. It is very good. His, his face is pretty much average. His hair should probably be a bit more curlier and stick out a bit. And his clothes, uh, the outside, not the printer part, is too burgundy. It was more browny in the film. But I think if you're looking for something which is just like Frodo Baggins, I think it's fine if you're not looking for like the details. And if you move it round to the back, you can see his green cape, which was given to him by the elves when he uh, visited them. And you can see his ear as well, because uh, hobbits have elves 
elf ears, so that's why they stick out a lot. But I think it does look a very, very cool figure. Yeah. So moving on, we have set number 40631, Gandalf and the Balrog with 348 pieces. And I think this is an amazing set. Gandalf the Grey is an incredible inclusion and the Balrog is so detailed with all its horns, wings and well just... it's, it's like whip. It's whip yeah, is very good. It's incredible. So, the, so it, it's definitely one of the it's definitely the biggest out of the three brickheads. Yes. And probably it's my favourite, definitely this it's one. It's very surprising considering it's the same price yeah. as the, the Arwen set, can sit even though it is has much more pieces. Yeah, about like eighty more pieces. But anyway, let's start with Gandalf. So Starting with Gandalf, I love his face, especially his beard. Although mm. it is a bit strange how big of a forehead they've given him. <laughs> yeah. The inclusion of the sword and the staff is a very nice little inclusion. And I really, really love his hat. Yeah. I think that really adds lots of character and detail to him. It's very, very cool. I love his hair. Apart from it probably could be a bit longer. Probably. But, yeah, but I, I do love his cloak. It definitely catches and like us of Sir Ian McKelling uh, very, very well. Yeah, and his hat and everything. I think it all compiles together to make an, an amazing, uh, an amazing brickhead. So very, it's very, very well done to Lego because it is very, very, very cool. Yeah. So here we have the Balrog, which is the monster that Gandalf said, you shall not pass to, which is probably one of the most famous lines in the entire of movie history. So looking closer at the Balrog, he has really really cool like fire pieces definitely from his legs and his mouth and his eyes which are an exclusive color probably to this set and his massive horns which tower and he's so massive it towers above any other brickhead i mean just look at golem for comparison yeah, look how small it is minuscule compared to yeah that. it's so cool i absolutely love the fire and the wings which can move if you can see that there and the tail as well at the back, which is so cool with more fiery very flames. Very posable. Yeah, so it's very, very good that like we've included all these small details. Even the little whip piece. Yeah, holding, the, the whip. whip piece really adds so much detail. Yeah. I expect, I love the hair at yeah. the top of him with a massive flame. It looks so cool. Definitely. And I love like the amount of detail. Like they could have just gone with like a regular brick head, but yeah. no, they've added horns and a tail and wings and yeah, it's, it's just definitely so good. one of the best brick heads of all time. Definitely. Which is the Aragorn and Erwin Lord of the Rings set. It has 261 pieces, so the second biggest uh, brickhead set. 
and they both look pretty cool definitely with a lot of silvery goldy parts which make them really nice and shiny so without further ado let's get on to Erwin for Arwen, I'm not gonna lie, she is probably my least favourite character out of all the Brickheads. She wasn't, she would not be my first choice of Brickhead. They could have made other famous characters like Legloss. Yeah, into I think, things, yeah. But I guess she is quite cool. I do really love the lime green all around her. And it is a very nice pr little printed sort of crown on yeah, her head. Yeah, it's very With cool. detail that goes all around the head with the lovely silverish pieces. Yeah, very, very cool. Like, a bit like but, classic Lego. Yeah. But other than that, she is a pretty bland figure, sort of yeah. just like a regular L. She doesn't really come with any accessories. I think it would be better if she had... I don't know what real accessories she could have. She could have, she could have probably had, like, a sword, maybe. But I think she does look okay. I definitely like her hair when it comes down. Overall, I'd say it was as good as they could have done for her. But yeah. I would have preferred a different figure. Yeah, definitely like leg loss or something. Here we have Aragorn, which is one of the nine Fellowship of the Ring. And he looks very cool, especially with his two printed parts. His printed armour chest plate, which looks really, really, really cool. And his also his printed crown which travels all the way around his head, just like uh, Erwin's crown does. It looks very, very cool with his sword, and especially even his cape, which you can't really see in his lighting, but it does look really good. Yeah. I mean, personally, I'm not sure if I would recommend uh, this set. I feel like the Aragon would do a lot better as a standalone figure, rather than paired with yeah. Erwin, who is kind of a bland figure. But I do love his face with his beard, definitely. Yeah. How we built that, it was very, very good. So well done to Lego again. So I think these have been very, very, very good figures. And finally, we are moving on to our final thoughts. And starting with mine, I think that all three of these are pretty good brick heads. Mm -hmm. Definitely some of the best that Lego has made. And starting off with a Gandalf and the Balrog. I think this is definitely the best set. Amazing detail. Both figures are incredibly excellent and definitely worth the price. Definitely. And for the Frodo and Gollum set, I think this is still a pretty solid set. A nice cheap alternative, which has got very nice figures and currently the cheapest way to get the ring. Mm -hmm. And finally for Aragorn and Erwin, probably the weakest set in my opinion, but still quite good if you are a big Lord of the Rings fan and have the money. So we have my thoughts now. So my favourite is definitely the Gandalf and Balrog. Just absolutely amazing. And I love Gandalf because he's my favourite character in the entire of my Lord, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. The Balrog is absolutely amazing how he's so big and he has so many pieces. And he's very, very, very good for the price of only like seventeen ninety nine. Frodo and Gollum is, is a very good set if you're on a budget and you just want a small Lego set for like Lord of the Rings for like your desk. Which is only like 13, it's only £13.49. Very, very good to get the ring and you get some very well-known characters, probably one of the best, the most well-known. And at the back we have Aragorn and Erwin, which probably they're not the most well-known. Mostly Aragorn is still pretty well-known known, uh, if you read like The Lord of the Rings, but you don't really see too much mention of uh, Erwin. But I still think they're still very good sets, especially with all their shiny pieces. So overall, I think all three of them are very, very, very good sets. So, see ya! Bye! Remember to like and subscribe so all...